think we're good. All right, welcome everyone to Math 1A, which is calculus. This is the first semester calculus course that you'll be taking. If you continue on, you'll be taking calculus, uh, let's see, second semester calculus, third semester calculus. So calculus is really like a three semester course. And if you're an engineering major, then you get to have the privilege of taking more like an application section of things here. So we got the home page here. Just want to introduce you to a lot of things here, the introductory videos, which I thought you saw was just my face in the camera just welcoming you that's that video there this is the introductory to the course itself and so just a quick little bit about myself and then we'll go on through all these little tabs these links and everything that's set up here so on the account on my little bio here if it clicks to it uh, so my name is Arkady Hanjiev I've uh, taught at West Hills College for a little bit over 15 years now and uh, pretty much I've taught every single class. Uh, and right now, finally, I can actually say I'm teaching the calculus classes um, this semester here. Previously, I taught six years at the high school level. Thoroughly enjoy teaching. I think math is uh, fun, entertaining, um, intellectually stimulating, and just we see math all around us. So that's really neat here. I received a bachelor's degree from Fresno State, then got a scholarship to go to Fresno Pacific. So I figured, hey, free education and a master's degree, I'll take that. Uh, so if you want to, you can post your bio as well on the bio page and I do read them as well. And so let's get started with the class itself. Let me jump back to courses here. It's the course I'm teaching this semester. And so the home page will introduce you to the introductory videos here. This one, I'll just let you look at it. It's intro to calculus, it's the fun version as a person goes and uh, looks at it. it's about eight minutes long, but it'll give you just the, the big, big picture of what we're gonna study in calculus here. So on the home page as well, right underneath it is all the different stuff. I figured you should just have it all in one single place. So we go chapter by chapter. There are six chapters in this textbook. And you, if you want to click on the learning objective, just to sort of see what you are going to be studying and i'm just going to go with one so there it is 1.1 has to deal with these seven items here if you know what those are after studying you will be good good shape all right back to the home page here and then we have the textbook the textbook is a free uh textbook so this is a zero cost course and uh, I will discuss the textbook in a little bit here. And then also there's a uh, slew of videos that goes along with uh, the textbook. I found a, an instructor that actually did each of those here. So each of the, um, he's correlated pretty well with the objectives of the section here. To click on the video, this is function notation, the first one here. You can view it inside this little window right here if you like. Uh, you can. Or you can. Uh, bring it up to the YouTube page itself. So there it is. And uh, oh, let me go with this. All right, so uh, the videos normally range from about uh, three minutes to about seven minutes. There's some long ones here as well. And so, and so you have a slew of videos. I did want to make short videos as opposed to an hour and a half lecture or something that you have to sort of go through. But these uh, average is about five minutes per lesson, something that you can do uh, on some spare times as well. And so there they are, uh, they're correlated to the textbook and that should hopefully help you a lot. Um, two things that you should do is read the textbook itself because that really gives you an idea of what you're learning. Go see the videos to make sure they, um, you confirm your learning and get maybe subtle nuances that you didn't get in the book as well, or just a different explanation. And then you have the exercises here. So first things first, when you're gonna log in the very, very first time, it's gonna ask you for, see, I already logged in here. It's gonna ask you for a uh, passcode. And the passcode that you wanna use is just math is great. And so let me, let me actually do that here. Let me jump to a Word document here. Uh, you're going to type it in as uh, just like that. So it's uh, math 
M-A-T-H, I is capital is, and the G is capital great. It's all one word, no spaces, no nothing, but that's the passcode to get into uh, the, the software that we'll be using for the exercises, okay? The software itself is free as well. The first page is gonna go like this, and I'm gonna just kind of give you a, just a flavor for it. That's what it looks like right here. Uh, you should be able to have um, four times or four tries in order to do the problems here. And so I think it's still going to update. And if you want to just, you don't hate and you just don't like the version of this, you can click on and, and get a different version of it as well. So let me submit the question. The first two or three questions are true and false. You can submit it you get that all right there's no penalty on this on this because this is just homework questions and you go through it just to make sure that you understand the material of course i'm twice wrong on it and then you go down uh, normally there are about 20 questions per section and just go at it we do have a whole semester to do it so that's that's great um, and i'll give you the the calendar just a bit here so filling in functions right here and um, that's what the homework, that's what exercises look like. So let me jump to another question like this here. What's a one-to-one -one function? And so that's, it looks like a one-to-one -one function. Hey, I'll select all the one-to-one -one functions. That's not, oh, that's a one-to-one -one function. So let's see, let's see if I get it right. All right, I got those right. Those are all one-to-one -one functions, something you will learn as we go through the course itself. Okay, so there's still introducing the homepage. This will be a bit of a lengthy video. And waiting for the homepage to set up again. And so the, re the way I set it up is that's exactly what each of the sections are gonna do right here. So learning objectives for you to sort of see what you're learning, read the textbook, at least have some idea, view the video, go back to the textbook, just kind of make sure that you're understanding this, go do the exercises and it continues on. So the chapter one is really just a review of major concepts you should know from algebra, just kind of review. You should know function, function notation, uh, the basic types of functions, uh, trigonometry functions or trigonometric functions technically, uh, something called inverse functions and then exponential logarithmic functions. Now this one kind of tends to stump students because uh, sometimes in your Algebra 2 class, you never made it to this portion in the class. And so I will, um, maybe I'll put in some extra videos maybe on exponential logarithmic functions from YouTube here. I'll stack them some more over here because that tends to be a, a bummer there. Okay, chapter two is on to something called limits. Now this is kind of the, the notation we use for calculus. Now, and it starts off with a quick little preview of calculus. Um, <clears throat> And then it goes on here. So how do we think about a, a limit? Uh, what are the different laws we use or rules we use for a limit? And then we have continuity, another little big concept we gotta need to know before we jump into calculus. And then we have the price, uh, precise definition of limit. So this is kind of all background information. Chapter one is kind of like the background from stuff you should know from previous classes. And chapter two is this limit concept and continuity concept we need to know before we jump into calculus. And voila, chapter three, we finally jump into calculus with something called a derivative. And you're gonna figure out the derivative rules, and all the different derivatives of regular functions, trigonometric functions here, inverse functions, and then something called implicit differentiation and voila something called derivatives of exponential logarithmic functions. So it really follows chapter one quite a bit and we're developing chapter one into calculus. All right, then we spent a whole chapter on the application of this derivative. We learned, we took chapter three, we learned this whole new concept of, of derivative and how it, and now we're gonna start applying it. So here we go all throughout chapter four, applying it to different, different contexts Oh, from graphing to word problems to different theorems that it applies to. All right, and then after that is all done, I got a misspelling here. I'll figure out that in just a bit here. Newton's and antiderivatives. Okay, we get to the second part of calculus, which is chapter five. This is called integration. Integration 
and we start it. And so the theoretical framework is what is it? What's a definite integral? And then we have something called the fundamental theorem of calculus. <clears throat> all right, we have the rules for it. How can we apply it? All of chapter five. And then we get to chapter six, which is the application of what we just learned, something called the integral or the application of integration. And so here on out, we move all the way through chapter six, learning all these different things. And eventually we end up with 6.9 as our last section. Okay, so hopefully that was a meaty sort of introduction to this here. Let me scroll back to this and the things that we're gonna use. So first things first, <clears throat> I'm gonna go to the syllabus page. And so if you wanna see a syllabus on the screen, kind of go through it, go for it. It's gonna be right here. I do have a PDF version of the syllabus, which I'll take you in just a bit. So the textbook is free. If you do wanna get a hard copy of the textbook, they do sell them on Amazon for roughly about $30 or so. So if you just wanna have a physical, I have one, I bought it because I, I like the, just having a physical textbook in my hand. So my name is Arkady Hanjiev. I go by Mr. Hanjiev is just perfectly fine. I am gonna start office hours the second week of class. If you do need to contact me, here's my office number. It'll go to my email and then I'll pick it up for my email. All right, um, maybe we should mention as we go along the way, what I've done is I set up these normally for the most part, uh, this is uh, gonna be a Monday, Wednesday, Friday course, or at least your your due dates are all gonna be Monday, Wednesday, Friday for the most part here. So for in January, the first thing that's due is actually gonna be this Friday, it's gonna be 1.1, as we said, and then it'd be 1.2, then it'd be 1.3, and we go on, so on, so forth here. The only changes that do happen is there's a holiday on Friday in February, I think it's Lincoln's Day, and then on Monday, it's Washington's Day. So uh, the 16th, that's the first one that we have off calendar. Then there's a section that's due on the 16th. And then we keep on going. And then uh, on the 10th, even though it doesn't have a date on here, that's the midterm. Midterm is right here. And then the 12th, I believe, is also a holiday of sorts that there's no class there. Okay, and then we go on from there. This is uh, spring recess or Easter break right over here. So nothing due there. And then we head into April, which is just Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You got a section to do and all the way until we get to the finals week here. Um, that 21st there, there is an exam as well. That's called the SLO exam. I'll talk to you as we get closer. And then um, the final schedule for the online classes have not been announced yet, but as soon as I get that, I will, we will get that information. So how do, am I going to distribute the weights? The online homework is worth 25% of your grade. The discussion items, there'll be five of them. They'll be worth 15% of your grade. There's a final exam worth 25. The midterm is worth 20% of your grade. And then the student learning outcome exam is worth 15. So grand total, that's what you'll, your grade will be based upon. So how do you get into this class? Hopefully you have passed math 15 or math 16. So both of them are pre-calculus classes. Math 15 is the old pre-calculus class. Math 16 is, or an equivalent class. Somehow you, you pass something equivalent in another college. So that allows you entrance into the class. The course objective is not gonna cover them here because um, that's the stuff we're gonna learn. As far as learning outcome, that exam I talked to you about, uh, this is what you'll be tested on, just three topics. These are kind of like the main topics as West Hills College uh, faculty, we got together and we kind of just had to hone in like what is the most important fundamental things the students need to know. There, there's the, the three that rise to the top and we do have an exam about those three as, after you finish all the lectures. All right, institutional learning outcomes. This is uh, kind of think about any class that you've taken ever at West Hills College should uh, fall under these seven uh, like umbrella pieces here. Communication competence, it, uh, it's more like the speech class and the English classes. Analytical inquiry, that's uh, your kind of critical thinking and thinking through things here. Our class falls under quantitative reasoning. That's the class, so that's the subject we want here. Oh, so building up your quantitative reasoning skills. Okay, let's go through this lecture here. Uh, lectures, books, and videos, as we mentioned, as I mentioned, uh, take the time to read the textbook if you can. 
uh, you're going to get nuanced knowledge of it. You can kind of slow down on it. I'll take a look at the textbook with you in just a bit and a little bit more in depth. And then also you have the videos. So that's kind of where you're going to get the information for the class. Uh, online homework, that is due according to the schedule. I'll give you a schedule as well that you can print out. And you just go with it. It's roughly three sections a week. And we go through the whole entire text. The midterm, I'm going to give you more information about it as we get there. But uh, it's just exactly what it is. Uh, halfway through the class, when we finish, I believe it's chapter three. As soon as we finish chapter three, there will be a a cumulative exam covering topics that we've covered so far. There'll be discussion boards, discussion posts. They are worth 20 points each. So eventually you get 100 points out of them. SLO exam, worth 10% of your grade. And uh, there'll be more information as we get closer to that exam. And the final exam, as stated before, uh, it's going to cover most um, topics in the class here and once I get the exact date for it I will pass that information on to you and I'll make a study guide as well for that. Uh, so attendance let's talk about it here so initially uh, what I need for you guys to do just email me stating that you want to stay in the class that's going to be the first day that's what you need to do and so Mr. Njiev I, um, I want to stay in the class that's at least or I read the syllabus thank you so much I want to stay in the class. All right, additionally, what you want to do is you want to sign up for the My Open Math Lab. Now, once you just start assignment 1.1 and you click in, uh, that's it. That's all it is. So uh, you will be already signed up in there since I've integrated the software with Canvas. And if you need to talk to me about something, general questions, please email me about the class. Um, and then if you do want sort of uh, synchronous help, so me interacting with you, those will be part of the virtual office hours that I'll create. If you're really, really stuck on a question, you can email me and um, I'll see what I can do. Either maybe just a quick email, email, a video explanation, or maybe send you to a YouTube that actually explains it well. So like online office hours, we will establish that the second week of class. It's roughly going to be about two hours a week for us to interact if you need to. And uh, go from there. The drop date for the class is the 13th of November. So after that, I do have to give you a letter grade. And if you plan not to continue the class, don't think I'm going to just drop you. The obligation rests upon you to drop yourself from the class if you no longer wish to attend. Okay, we covered that already. And the other piece is <clears throat> I do want you to do good on the midterm and the final. Uh, so I want you to prep for it. It's not just another test uh, for the midterm and the final. Kind of read this a little carefully. You do have to score at least 70% as an average between the midterm and the final. So it just... Uh, it's it's a cumulative exam and you should be able to do good on it as long as you're keeping up on the homework here conduct just means if you do something forbidden by school regulations uh, that is grounds to drop you but we do have support services here um, so if you want to read through the catalog there's a lot of different support services uh, that we have on campus especially during this time as well and so if you need to this particular one i want to mention is the disabled student program and services here. So if you think you qualify for a learning disability, please contact them. Phone number is given right there and they'll make accommodations, especially since we're not physically on campus here. All right, and these are just gonna be, again, this is just the exercise. If you want a calendar of exactly what's due, you can go to the syllabus and the little right here. That's a good spot for it. If you wanna print that out, that's fine. What I also did, as I go back up here, under the files menu, let's let's talk about each one of these pieces here. Under the files menu, there's three things here. First of all, I do have the PDF of the textbook itself, so click on that. It's a pretty big download. The, and um, the textbook is free as a digital copy of it. See, it's downloading for quite a while, or it's trying to come up here. If you want to click close here on this one here, you know what? I'll, I'll show you a different way to download it if it's taking too much time in yours here. I do want to give you this the schedule here. So instead of looking at the schedule underneath the syllabus, there's a schedule right here. I put it by months. So there it is here. Email me, sign up for the My Open Lab from Canvas, and you're good to go. And here are the due dates for each of the classes. It goes from January all the way to May. So everything is here. 
so you know exactly what is due and when. I figure that'll be a good thing for you just to download it. If you click print right now, it actually just prints the screen. So if you download it like that, click on that, and then you open it with whatever you can, even in Firefox. If you open it in Firefox, then voila, then you should be able to print it from here. That's the best way to do it. Okay, that's one thing. Second thing is the syllabus. If you want a, like a hard copy of the syllabus, same exact thing we just covered. Uh, just this is a printable version of it here. So if you want to print it, all yours. There it is. Again, don't print it from here. Click on download first, then print it. Okay, I just want to see how long this calculus textbook is actually going to take. And if I can click on download, I can. Okay, let's see. Yes, okay. It's going to be a bit of a download. There's 200 plus pages here. And so if you click right here, if you do have Adobe Reader or Adobe, any kind of Adobe product here, you can actually download it. And there it is. There's a textbook. You're all good to go. Uh, make it bigger if you need to here. And then you do have thumbnails to the book itself. Bookmarks are probably better. So preface to the book, chapter one, and it is divided into sections here. So clicking on this here, there it is. There's the beginning of the textbook and you're, you're all set to start reading, start thinking about uh, calculus. All right, there's that, uh, a better version. You guys ready for this? A better version of the textbook is right over here. If we click on this one here, you do have to go online. I'm gonna go, where am I gonna go? Yeah, I'm gonna go here. Uh, I'm gonna go to open stacks. So O-P-E-N-S-T-A-X, open stacks, because that's the publisher for the textbook. <clears throat> and clicking on OpenStax itself. And then we want to find our textbook here. So subjects, what we want to do, subjects would be math. And it's going to give you all the different textbooks that are underneath the math category. Ours is Calculus Volume 1. So clicking on that will give you the textbook. All right give you the table of contents if you want. You can look at the book online. You can download an app that will carry the book. You can download the book as a PDF, which is what we just covered right then and there. All right. And so it just gives you all the different uh, pieces of the textbook here as well. Let me click this so it's not in our way. All right. If you do look at the book online, you're clicking on that. And we'll go to 1.1, Review of Functions. Let it upload here. Uh, as you read through this here, there's a few things that you can do, which I thought was pretty cool. So first things first, if you're talking about functions here, uh, you can click on the applet links right here, and it'll jump to it'll jump to you actually looking at um, applets are just really quick little uh, C++ programs that allow you to view. So there's your input is x, output is f of x or y. Right here, here's your function. Then you just go on to the next slide. If you click on here, you go to a trigonometric, no, a polynomial slide here. Oh, and they just have these little um, applets, just kind of give you more like a live version of the textbook itself here. That's one thing that I like about the live version. I'm going to click on the update in just a bit here, just not now. Oh, it went a little too far. Let me. Wait for it to, okay, this is the other one here, is um, as you go through examples here, find the domain and range. It'll give you the, the problem here. And what you do is you can do the problem itself without seeing the answer. And then you can just click on show answer. It'll pop up a little window and tell you if you're right or wrong and it gives you an explanation of why, why that is so. Again, that's very similar to this one right here. In fact, let's find it. Uh, it's right here, that same problem. Uh, this is the textbook version of it, or the PDF version right here. And here's the 
online version. It just kind of helps so, so you don't know the answer right away already. You do have to wrestle with the problem and then you can kind of quickly see if you got it right or wrong. I thought that was a, a neat thing. You can uh, log in, as it said down here, log in as a student. You'll have access to this hook and you can use it right here. All right, let's go back to the files menu. So there's our, all right, the other thing is you can just download it from here and you have it. My computer's going a little slower here. Okay, what else do we need to cover? Um, first thing, the grade is gonna be grades. I can't see the grades because I'm, there's no grades in there right now and I'm in the instructor. So I hopefully I just put everything for you guys on, on the home as far as the uh, content from the textbook is on the home page here. The other part is the discussions. Click on discussions. There's one already in there. And this one's just a quick intro about yourself. And so we'll have five of these throughout the semester. Clicking on that and introduce yourself uh, to the class. Um, there's a couple of questions or a few questions for you guys to answer as you go through it here. So there's that. I think we've covered the most part everything here. Let's go down to uh, confer Zoom. This is how the office hours are going to take place. You click on here and on the calendar, as as I set up things for next week, you should see a, um, a link right here. If it's going to be like Tuesday, let's say it's Tuesday afternoon and Thursday afternoons. If you have something like that, it's going to have that right here. And this is the agenda view. So you actually have it like this. These are the two recordings I did already. Right there. So there's that piece here. The other piece that I want to show you, if you are a Kalinga student, you're going to click on uh, WHCC Net Tutor. If you're a Lamore student, you're going to click on WHCL Net Tutor. So what this is, is the fact that uh, for student at West Hills College, Kalinga, Lamore, uh, we, you have been purchased or you, we have purchased, the school has purchased 40 free hours of tutoring for you. And so what you do is you just go on to the course that you need help with. So this one's going to be a calculus and above right here. Click on this and it'll take you somewhere. There it is. Okay. It'll take you to these, uh, to, to their website. So you have one of two things here. You can actually meet with a live tutor. You click on it. It's going to say you're in the wait room and you wait, 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 and then you get on to a tutor. Or you can drop off a question. If there's a homework question that you really, really are stuck on, maybe screen, take a screenshot of it and send it to them. And then you can drop it off. And then I think it's 24 hour feedback. You get feedback for it. So here, this third piece is whatever you um, live tutoring sessions you had, your previous sessions will be recorded here for view. Or if you had a drop in question, the answer would be right here. So I thought it was a cool, neat service with that. And uh, students in past semester said they were pretty good. So hopefully that works as well. All right, with that, I think we are done. The rest of them is stuff for me. So I wish you well during the semester. As you get started, please email me the first day so that we can get started right away, get all your information. You have the books you can download for free, so you're already good to go. And uh, wish you well and wish to hear from you.